today we're going to talk about the new update of Typeflow 1.012. With this release, it has new operators for procedural terrain generation, most parameters, and many other updates. If you don't know what Typeflow is, it is basically a complete rewrite of Particle Flow which is a 3ds max system for particle simulations. Typeflow was actually developed by Tyson Nibili. It is similar to particle flow but much more powerful. So it is basically a particle simulator that takes simple concepts such as position, rotation, scale and velocity and applies them to a huge number of individual points in 3d space. Before Tyson created Typeflow, he was working for a company called Make and he was frustrated by the particle flow due to its slow performance, bugs and lack of updates, which left particle flow behind with the progress we have seen with the particle simulators in the last few years, especially in other packages such as Houdini. 3ds Max's particle flow was cutting edge at some point, but it couldn't keep up. So Tyson took matters into his own hands and rewrote the whole thing in his free time to create Typeflow. So what are the updates and new features we have in this version? There are a ton of them actually. First of all, he added more than 20 new operators for procedural terrain generation. He added also many noise parameters to all noise rollouts. And he added the convert child branches into siblings option to branch operators, which is really interesting. There is also now the IV growth intersection options to the grow operator. He also added support for Fume Effect 6, among many other updates. But the highlight of this update is, of course, the 20 terrain operators that allow you to create terrains with much more flexibility and versatility. We also have Mesh Conversion, which allows you to sculpt terrains using any mesh. This is interesting and can be useful in different situations. In addition, we have LookDev because now you can mold terrains using a variety of effects presets, which gives you a ton of freedom in your natural scene projects. Another interesting thing is procedural shading. That means we have layer-based terrain maps that we can easily adapt to landscape topology, no matter how complex it is. Furthermore, we have liquid color. This allows you to easily paint drainage patterns with dynamic flow maps. Also, we have sediment shift. This one is absolutely beautiful and it allows you to simulate wear and tear with powerful erosion solver. This can be actually used in many different situations and it can be certainly be useful. In addition, we have wave pool, which is not less impressive because it allows you to use the shallow water solver to simulate lakes, rivers, floods and rain, which brings life to your terrains. And we have particle integration that allows you to do mask based scattering for a fine-tuned and desirable particle distribution of particles along your terrain. This can be extremely useful if you want to scatter stuff along your terrain and you can do that with extreme precision because this plugin can do it for you easily. Alright, last but not least, Typeflow has now many terrains added to the editor preset menu which gives you a quick start if you don't want to start from scratch. This was basically a quick update of what Typeflow has now in the recent update. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel because we're going to update you with the latest news when it comes to the CG industry. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.